what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so as you all know today is indeed august 27th which means the closed beta is now live here in solar crown i did want to go over a few different things like some common questions and also my main concerns from playing the beta on this one and at least the vip one before talking about some of the things many players seem to be a bit concerned about which honestly i can't blame them so number one here if you are wondering this beta is going to run until friday august 30th which is going to give us around three days to play it and the other thing is this is going to be legit the exact same beta as the vip one as far as i do know nothing is actually different about this one so if you do still have it downloaded simply get on it and you should be good to go i actually logged in fairly quick did not have any issues i do know some players in certain regions are having the internal fault do let me know in the comments below which areas are having that the most but so far here in the east coast in the usa i seem to be okay at least you know for now knock on some wood there i would say a lot of players are going to be a bit concerned for something else that is probably going to be the launch bro because here's the thing we really don't know much about anything at the moment because it has been a bit quiet i really do have to give alex 7 a lot of credit he's basically marketing this game so well and basically promoting it giving us updates on stuff like that is so dope and i really do feel like that dude should probably be in the game as a character that would be insane but i do feel like a lot of players have the right to be a bit worried because you know at this point guys a lot of games as i have mentioned in older videos are doing all that great when they actually release so a lot of players are looking at this beta like man i'm so worried about the servers are they going to be okay can i actually play the game on day one is it going to work are they gonna crash can i drive a car can i buy one you know there's a lot of questions going around in this and you know what though i do understand it because after playing the beta we all do know something that has basically popped up probably a thousand times everywhere that is going to be the fact that yes this beta is old and I do feel like a lot of people are probably going to be like, yes, Block, we understand the beta is old. But the thing is, though, people are still looking at the gameplay on this going, man, this looks awful. The physics are terrible. The thing is, though, we have not actually seen and at least played the main final build of the game. So we really can't judge it yet. The thing is, I really can't wait to jump in on September 5th and see exactly how this game does run on PS5. Apparently, it's going to be 60 frames per second and 1080 pixel or something, which, you know what, I feel like that's going to run just fine, though. It isn't going to be, like, insane, like, you know, 1400 pixels or, you know, 4K and all that stuff, but I do feel like it's still going to look great. I'm sure on a crazy built PC, the game is probably going to look like an absolute masterpiece, but... My PC currently definitely can't run that, so I'm going to be getting the game on PlayStation 5. I do feel like a lot of players might get the game on console or at least be concerned of getting the game on console. To be honest though, I feel like the overall optimization on the console side of it might be a tad better than the PC, but again, we really don't know until the game does actually come out in September. That is going to be the real test with like the overall optimization of it and really see how the game actually runs on consoles and the PC. I do know a lot of players for a fact are going to be a tad concerned for the PC part of it, which I really can't blame you. The next thing I did want to talk about here I've been seeing legitimately everywhere. I was seeing some of this talked about in the Kingdom 12 stream and I did want to talk about it. Is there going to be a lot of customization or any in this game? The thing is, guys, we all do know right now this is not a Need for Speed game. I did mention that in the older video. We're not going to have, like, cambered Lamborghinis and stuff in this game to where you're going to see, like, BBS rims on, like, a Lambo. Then you're going to have, like, a crazy wide body kit on it. I just don't see that happening. But the thing is, though, if you guys actually head over to the main workshop area, though, and take a look at the cars now, it says something about appearance in there to where I'm like, wait a second. For example, let's take a look at something like the G-Wagon. What if they actually added something like a Brabus kit for it? I feel like that's possible. So maybe we could see some type of special body kits in the future. Now, I'm going to guess and say it's probably going to be like a set body kit, like you probably can't change the bumpers and stuff. But it is probably going to be a tad too early to really see that. I just feel like, guys, imagine being able to do a tad of some body kits like that. For example, another car. What about something like the Mustang GT? The 5.0 for that matter. The 2018 one we had in the beta. What if you could actually do like an RTR kit or something on that car? That would be so dope. And I feel like players would appreciate having some type of kits like that, which I do feel like in the future it is going to be possible. The other thing I did want to talk about in this is can you tune the cars in a beta? That is a big no. I'm also really excited for the tuning in this game, though it's going to be incredibly in-depth. And from what I have seen so far, it does look a tad more insane than something like Motorfest, but... 
we'll be able to dive really deep into that when the game does end up coming out. I will most likely be going over every piece of the tuning, seeing what they actually do, and seeing how each one of them actually affect each different car. One of the big reasons why this really does interest me a lot though is because we all do know right now that every car in test drive is probably going to feel a bit different. Like if you drive something like a Ford Mustang, it's not going to feel like an Alpine A110 or something. So you know, different settings on each car is probably going to be a must. If we look at something on Motorfest, for example, guys, you can actually have similar pro settings on every single car in that game. And they do tend to handle similarly, or at least, you know, decently enough to actually be used in different events. Funny thing is though in Motorfest I always had like the most minimalistic settings ever on my vehicles. I basically changed around like two or three things and did the summits and I actually do pretty dang well considering I barely tune them. So I'm also going to be wondering about test drive in this aspect though. Like do you really have to tune that car to make it quote unquote meta? Can you do a few things to it to make it good? I really can't wait to test it. There's also going to be another side of that guys I want your thoughts on. Do you think a lot of that tuning stuff can stir players away from it? Like, do you actually enjoy tuning a car that much? Would you rather have it, like, set so you don't have to mess with it to where you can jump in and the overall settings on that car is decent? To be honest, I feel like there's going to be a big middle ground there to where being able to tune that car is going to be really fun. You can also make it handle well, you know, do good in certain areas that sometimes it wouldn't be able to do in. And I feel like that's probably going to be a dope thing in this game. And also, though, quick mention, if you are wondering how to download the beta, simply head over to the game in your library. Go over to the three small little dots, guys, and click on that. You'll then see the closed beta thing, and you can download it from there. And then the next thing I did want to talk about a bit, though, is will this game be more of a solo focus? Like, can I do races by myself? Or am I always going to have to worry about joining somebody? So here's the thing about this though. Back on the PC demo before, it was a 30 second countdown when you actually started that race. Was that too long? Definitely. Funny thing is, even on Need for Speed Unbound, if you actually start a race when you are in a free roam lobby, it is 30 seconds. I don't know why that is, but they do need to fix it. Luckily, guys, on Test Drive, they did fix it since the PC demo. Now it's going to be a 10 second countdown once you actually start that event. You basically immediately start it. I'm going to guess and say right now that most of the time you're probably going to be racing by yourself. I would even say like over 95% of the time most players are probably going to be by themselves. They're going to want to test cars out. They're probably going to want to see if some are good. You know, some people will probably join each other and do some races together and stuff. But a majority of the time though, I do feel like players most likely want to race by themselves. And I feel like in this game you will be able to do it. The thing is though, I do understand where players might be coming from with this like they probably want to race solo and don't want to have the thing hanging over their head like yo can someone join me like I just want to race by myself so like I understand that the thing is though I actually talked about this in a video during the VIP beta an easy way to do this guys is make it so when you start that race it can simply say jump in the race solo or would you like to join players for a PvP experience? Something along that line would easily fix that. Now the last thing I did want to discuss in this video is going to be a small thing about the Solar Pass. Now a lot of players might actually be like, well what is going to be in it? How is it going to work? I'm going to take a wild guess right now and say it's probably going to be a free tier and a premium one which we probably see in legit every single battle pass ever. We saw that in Unbound, we saw that in the motor pass there on the crew. So I would probably say it's going to be very similar to that one. You're most likely going to have levels, you'll probably have like some rims and stuff in there, maybe some stickers, you know, maybe some upgrades for cars, who knows, that could be in there. There is most likely going to be a car or two in the said pass, which you know Unbound does that. Wouldn't doubt if there's going to be a special edition car in there or something at like level 75 or 100, whatever the max rank is. I would say that's going to be fairly possible. The only thing is like what is it going to cost? I'm going to say around $10 and then you know probably something like $25 for like the special one that gets you ranks and stuff in it. At least I would probably guess around something like that for it. And there's also one last thing I did want to mention. I would say at this point most players probably are aware of this, but if you did play this beta, you're looking at gameplay on it, saying it does look terrible, guys, I would recommend heading over to the Test Drive Twitter, checking out some of the recent videos like the weather and stuff like that, the recent Bugatti video. They also had one with the lovely Lamborghini Urus going on an off-road trail. Definitely looks a lot better than the beta. I'm also going to leave a tag on the screen for a recent video that I did do on it. Where I did go over the recent trailer on it guys going over like the grip physics, the drifting physics, you know the car sounds being better, more dense traffic, the overall sense of speed being updated, 
do check that video out if you have missed it. But overall though guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. What are some of the main things you're looking forward to with Test Drive, but at the same time of that, what are some of your biggest concerns for this game's launch?